ASP is back again with more Marine Corps uniforms during the Second World War. Joe, take it away. Hi, right, Chris. This is the P-1941 utility jacket. Basically, the main uniform throughout the war. Uh, it's a cotton twill. Okay. Um, manufactured, as the name says, 1941. So they really didn't wear them prior to Pearl Harbor. It was really once, to, once they got the Guadalcanal and the major part of the war started, this was issued to every Marine. Okay. Um, three breast, four breast buttons held together, three pockets, open pockets, which didn't work well. And in later uniforms, we'll see how they dealt with that. Like Marine Corps uniforms, nice big bold USMC EGA on the pocket. You know, uh, very comfortable. Herringbone twill is real soft cotton, very lightweight, which worked well in the, in the tropics. Of course, yeah. You know, very comfortable. Maybe you had to remind him wearing wool over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was... Uh, in the later islands, it run a little, but we'll get to that later. All right. Yeah, herringbone twill cotton, very comfortable, very lightweight. Worked very, it, it's durable, it's lightweight. Um, it dealt well with the, with the rain. It dries pretty good, you know. And what are these, what's this marking? Okay, th that is... Very special. That is an invasion marking. Once the Marines got aboard ship and headed out towards their next invasion, they would be told where they're going, and they would, everything from, from their uniforms to their tanks, literally, they would mark with what's called an invasion marking. Okay. And that is was supposed to be code, that in case you were killed or captured, the Japanese couldn't tell what units they were up against. Okay. So, the triangle, I'm sorry, the rect rectangle. rectangle, thank you, is the symbol for the 5th Marine Division. Okay. The first number would be your rank. So being, being that's a 1, he was a private. All right. 2 corporal, 3 sergeant, so on and so forth. The 8 stands for the 28th Marine Regiment. Okay. The 2 is the 2nd Battalion, and the 3 is for Easy Company, or E Company, meaning this was a rifle company. Okay. So it's 1, 8, 2, 3. Right. Private, the 28th Marine, 2nd Battalion, Easy Company. And uh, the man's last name was Ranos, and you stenciled your name on all your clothes. Okay. You even, at some point, you probably even got yourself a stencil. And you stenciled the way he has a stencil on the inside, on the outside. Um, this jacket, in my opinion, did not make it to Iwo Jima. The, the 5th Marine Division only fought on Iwo Jima. Mm -hmm. I find it hard to believe that this one made it there. Either this man either served aboard ship, or this was his backup that never left his bag. Okay. I mean, look at it, it's absolutely pristine. Yeah. You know, most relics with, with uh, Iwo Jima markings on it come back and look that way. Yeah. You know, you can literally sometimes pour the black sand out of the pockets. You know, this is an absolutely beautiful... This um, is in pristine condition. Absolutely. Now, if you look at it, very interesting about this, and I hope the camera picks it up, it's two different shades of herringbone. This side's a little lighter than this side. They didn't care about collectors 70 years later and have a pristine looking uniform. Yeah. The roll of twill ran out, they got the next one, they kept on sewing. You know? Oh, wow, okay. You'll see that in a lot of things, cartridge belts especially. All You'll right. see different shades of pieces all sewn together. Very, very common. Very common. Right, and uh, the this is known as the M. Uh, the 1941 utility cap, more famously known as the Daisy May. And uh, they were well liked, very comfortable, again, made a herringbone twill. Mm -hmm. Reborn, either way, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they were short lived. You know, they, they went to a ball cap later on. Yeah. But especially on the Guadalcanal and the southern Solomon Islands, you'll see a lot of Marines still wearing them. Absolutely. Okay. And well, they have yes. the 41 utility trousers. Again, made of a, if you see it, it's even a little different color. It's definitely lighter than a jacket. Yeah. Know, side. You can see it definitely lighter than a jacket. Very soft, very comfortable. Same herringbone twill tweed to it. Um, These two, have two pockets in the back, too. Yeah, but they're not the dress pants. Oh, okay. Pockets became important once you got to combat. Yeah. You had to put stuff in them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, again, the, the brass. Marine Corps buttons, it was a button fly, four buttons, one, two, three, four buttons, and the buttons uh, say on them, U.S. Marine Corps, on the pants. Okay. 
The Marines never wanted to be mistaken for army soldiers. Ever. Yes, of course. Including today. So they were always, it was always a big thing with them, especially in World War II, that their uniforms said, said so. You know? Mm-hmm. And that was ever present during World War One. <laughs> and and yeah. that was an issue for them as yeah, well. Yeah. And you see, this is, we will show lots of different uniforms that were used clear through to occupation duty, but this is the main uniform. The 41 Utilities. A pristine jacket and a pristine pair of pants and a Daisy May hat. The Daisy May hat, not so much throughout the whole war, but definitely the, jam the jacket and these pants. Okay. Absolutely. Alright. Alright. More uniforms on the way. Stay tuned. Alright, a close-up look at the utility jacket and pants. USMC. One, eight, two, three. Private, 28th Marines, 2nd Battalion, Easy Company. Guy's name was Ranios. Hmm. No, po uh, no buttons here. Hate to lose stuff in this <laughs> utility uh, jacket. And the pants. The front. Front pockets, butt pocket, butt pocket. <coughs> Let's take a look at the twill. I don't know if you can see, but that's the twill. And lastly, Marine Corps buttons.